come back to the diversity in the living world so yesterday we discussed about the, the basic process of a taxonomy what is taxonomy taxonomy is a what uh, identifying then classifying and naming organisms and uh, there are certain rules uh, to follow while naming organisms what is naming called naming is a nomenclature and grouping of organisms based on similarities and dissimilarities known as a classification now binomial nomenclature which is proposed by carl linnaeus or carolus linnaeus who is the father of taxonomy and bot plants have botanical names and animals have zoological names and they are controlled by icbn and iczn okay we uh, discussed uh, in detail yesterday now let us move on so there are certain rules to um, follow nomenclature and first rule is that uh, scientific names are in uh, latin or uh, latinized uh, words and written in uh, <coughs> italics Uh, the name is uh, given in uh, latin and they are uh, printed in uh, italics italics means uh, not in straight uh, somewhat uh, but uh, you ha- you have you are familiar with the, uh, the italics letters and when handwritten they are underlined separately we should uh, underline separately for example if you are going to write uh, the scientific name of uh, uh what a man a uh, human being then a uh, homo sapiens we have to write homo separately and uh, sapiens separately then uh, we have to underline uh, two words uh, separately homo underline then sapiens underline okay so we have to underline uh, separately these two and uh, we know that uh, it is binomial nomenclature two uh, names are there uh, and uh, that is a uh, homo sapiens in the first part the first part is known as a uh, generic name and the second part is a specific epithet okay two parts are there first part and second part the first name is a, the name of genus you are going to uh, study more what uh, new new words the first part of a Uh, scientific name is genus name of genus otherwise known as a generic name and second part is a, the name of a species to which it belongs and uh, that is otherwise known as specific epithet generic name and a specific epithet two parts homo is a generic and a sapiens is a specific epithet okay then next is uh, the genus name starts with the capital letter homo is the genus name of genus see how is it uh, uh, written here h o m o h capital that means uh, we should start uh, the generic name with the capital letter homo h capital okay then uh, look at the uh, specific epithet homo sapiens it is uh, it starts with the small letter small s h capital in the case of a homo that is generic name should start with the capital letter and the second part that is a specific epithet should start with the small letter uh, remember that uh, we have to underline separately when we write in our notebook okay while printing it is a uh, shown in uh, italics okay now uh, next point is the name of the author uh, is a uh, appears at the end of uh, the biological name For example mangifera indica lim leave it uh, mangifera indica that is in, uh, the scientific name of mango uh, and at the end uh, usually we don't write it uh, mangi it is for only only for your information mangifera indica lim it indicates that uh, this what uh, uh, species um, was first described described by linnaeus yes. okay usually we don't write uh, when we write but if it is there uh, written like that uh, that indicates the name of uh, what uh, the author who uh, identified that 
okay next uh, taxonomic categories we'll uh, study that in the next class okay